All right, December 9th, maybe. Um, second version of the prototype for the Ballard High School. We've got a pump attached and the rear wings are on upside down. <laughs> but as you can see, it's got some other stuff attached. There's a Pelton wheel box with a generator and a lower reservoir for air pressure to build up and an upper reservoir for water pressure to build up. So as the water fills up in the upper chamber, the air gets pushed out to this middle one and then the water eventually comes down and into the nozzle that turns the Pelton wheel. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's all an airtight closed loop system. So the water is actually driven by air pressure, negative air pressure in the Pelton wheel box and positive air pressure in the air chamber. Oop, that's the air chamber. That's where the water is goes. So we've just got two little one-way valves and a diaphragm pump. Might be able to see it moving in there. Um, and you can see the bolt, but not a lot of movement. So anyway, that's pretty much it. There's a larger Oops. There's a larger um, shock absorber in there so that when it pitches back, it comes back nice and smooth. And yeah. Oh. Not a very windy day. It was just snowing a moment ago. So it's pretty cold. But yeah, that's the latest. figure out how to get those wings on so they stay up. So, and we'll be measuring the power the generator produces. Waiting to get our 80 amp rectifier in the mail to hook this up to. And then we're gonna hook that up to a car battery and just probably mount it on here somewhere, wherever there's room. <laughs> and then we'll light some LEDs and um, be able to measure the power it makes with some other sensors, but the power it does make we'll use and hopefully make a nice little light show. So that's it. I'll keep you updated as soon as some wind comes and hopefully the pitching back system works and, and the whole Pelton wheel runs fast enough to generate enough electricity. So that's it. Thanks.